Hey, Brian Maxwell, and in this video, this quick video, I'm going to share with you how do you handle the price objection. Number one, realize that an objection in itself is a buying signal. If they weren't interested, they would have just left your dealership or they would have just hung up. The fact that they are raising an objection lets you know that somewhere in their mind, they were considering making a purchase. And that little subconscious monster popped up and said, ah, the price is too high. So you first want to start by asking open-end questions to get a better understanding, or should I say, understanding about where it is they're coming from. You want to ask questions like, what about the price do you feel is too high? What makes you feel this way about the price? What exactly are you comparing this price to? These are what you call opening questions that allow the customer to engage us in dialogue, to give us information, which is what we need. Because the more information we have, the better understand where they're coming from, the better information we can share to make it easier for them to make a smart, safe buying decision and do business with you at your dealership. So the next time you get a price objection, don't freak out and don't just drop price right away. Dig deeper into it and find out exactly why they feel that way. What is it that they feel that way about? What have they compared it to to make them feel if the price is too high? By digging in, and you want to make sure you have those type of questions. You can use the opening question, not just share. Maybe your management team has something that can help you. But at the end of the day, don't freak out over price objection. Remember something. Price will always be on the table. But when the value built in the product exceeds the price, and when the experience that the customer or the prospect has with you exceeds the price, price becomes just a little bit less relevant. It'll always be there, but it won't be as important. Think about it. We've all went and did business and purchased things that we felt had value, maybe for a little more than what we typically would have, but it's all on a perceived value to us. That's how two customers that come in and look at the same vehicle have two different sales reps. One customer comes out and signs it at first pencil for $30,000. The next customer comes out and they want it for $27,000. The reason why that is is that the customer that came out and signed their first pencil on that $30,000 vehicle, they got a $40,000 presentation and felt like that was a steal. The person that came out and wanted it for less and wanted it for $27,000, they got a $25,000 presentation on the $30,000 vehicle, and they don't feel like it's worth that. So price isn't always about how much money the individual has. Price, a lot of times, or the perception of the price being too high, is based on the value that the individual sell drug built in the product or the service. So make sure that you focus on building value in your product, in your service, and in the experience that the customer has with you, and you'll see the price objection come up a lot less. I'm Brian Maxwell. Hopefully this helps you out. And if you're a salesperson looking for some help on how to convert better, how to better perform on the phone, I highly encourage you to visit sellingforsuccess.org, selling, the number four, success.org, or click that link in the description. And if you are uh, the general manager, sales manager of a dealership, and you feel like your sales team members would benefit from this type of information or other information that I share on my, on my other social media channels like YouTube, Facebook, or on LinkedIn, by all means, shoot me a message and let's set up a time to speak to see if we can put something together that can help your store. Other than that, I'm Brian Maxwell, and I look forward to seeing you at the dealership.